New details tonight in a story the Target 12 investigators have been tracking since 2014. The condemned Roger Williams Park mausoleum in Cranston continues to crumble with hundreds of bodies inside. So we decided to follow up after this tip from a viewer last week. The photo shows a casket in the mausoleum pulled from the wall and exposed to the elements. Target 12 consumer investigator Susan Campbell joins us now with what she's learned. The owner of the mausoleum died more than a decade ago. The city says the building has no owner, so nobody's been taking care of it. Over the years, the city has tried to secure it, but we've learned trespassers are still getting inside. The crumbling stone structure, a haven for trespassers. Even if the building doesn't fall on you, you can't spend too much time in there with that asbestos floating around the air. The mausoleum has been boarded up and fenced off for years. But someone, maybe several people, recently broke in through this window. They found some sleeping bags and stuff like that. They cleared all that stuff out. So it seems like people are going in and out of this building often. Yeah, that, that is definitely an issue. There are some valuable, uh, valuable stuff in there. A lot of the uh, plates uh, that are posted on the crypts are brass. So people have been taking those. What would happen if that building came crumbling down on those people who were in there. Is the city liable? I, I can't say that. We'd have to refer that off to our legal department. Um, the reason we took the responsibility to secure it and is because we condemned it. Nobody's been caught in the act here, but city leaders say Cranston police are stepping up patrols in this area. <laughs> And we were there when the city's building and maintenance crew returned. Another attempt to preserve the resting place of hundreds of people who are still entombed in these walls. The city says it has no records of who's buried there, but there are protocols in place for anyone who wants to move a loved one to a new resting place. We have more information on how to start the process right now on our website, WPRI.com. With the Target 12 investigator, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.